Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of chemistry. So I'm going to have chemistry. And then of course, we're going to be looking to continue our study or our learning on periodic table. Alright, and of course on the families of elements. And today we're going to be looking at group 4. Group 4 elements, the one we call the carbon family. And of course, one of the reasons why we call them the carbon family because carbon is one of the most important what, elements in this group. And of course, it is the first element in the group also. So that's why we call it what, the carbon family. Please know that this video tutorial is brought to you by the best and only jam CPT practice app you should have on your phone for sure success in your examination, the O3 Schools Jam app. It has been currently displayed on the screen right now. Please head to Play Store, download that app. Have it on your phone, have it handy because it will help you a lot. It has all the past, you, do, you don't need to purchase any past questions if you have the app. It has all the recent and the past questions on the what on the app. All right, there are so many modes you can practice as if you are in the exam hall. Right, it is what structured to be like your main jam CBT exam. There's a practice mode, there's a study mode, there's an exam mode, there's a mock mode. You can take any of these modes to practice. Wonderful features, classroom features, question set feature, UTME challenge which we conduct for all students writing jam each year. All right, we we'll conduct that challenge every week, every week till one week to your jam exam. All right, so please, Participate in the world in the challenge to win prizes, and of course, you'll be seeing your score just like the way Jam will release your score. So you see your score per subject every week, and you see the areas where you need to improve, and you can easily what improve with that. All right, many other features such as what well, there are some educational games you can play. You can play who wants to be a millionaire, right? You can play economics or commerce or mathematics or who wants to be a millionaire and be winning what virtual money is not real money oh please don't come to my dmc you know you have one money somebody message me one time and say i won five thousand dollar is it uh is it real how do i receive my money so please it's just for you to have fun while you are learning get the app activation is one time and you just three thousand naira for activation please activate the app it will not cost you anything it's not three thousand naira in the modern day nigeria right in modern day nigeria is nothing it's nothing so you just it's little token you are giving to us or to appreciate our efforts so please activate the app and do not be stingy to yourself now let's look at the carbon family of course the elements that are in that are in the carbon family will first of all be or number one will be the carbon what itself carbon itself right so carbon itself is a what is a non metal it's a non metal right it's a non what metal it is the first element in this group then number 2 we have silicon silicon then we have germanium we have silicon then we have what germanium this silicon and germanium they are what metalloids they are what they are metalloids right these are the elements in the group. Then we have flavorium. Flavorium, or the one we call unum quadium. All right. So this is what a synthetic element of atomic number 114. All right. It has no reuse outside the laboratory. It has no reuse outside the world, outside the laboratory. It is often called echa lead. Echa lead. And the reason why it is called echa lead is because its, its properties are conjectured to be like that of what lead. It has similar properties to what to lead. Anyway, so after this, this is what is synthetic element. Then we now have tin and what and then lead as the other members of what of this group. So carbon, silicon, germanium, unquadium, tin and lead are the what elements in what in group four of the periodic table. All right now. Let's talk about them. Anyway, so the first thing you should know, first of all, is that what? They are what? They are tetravalent. They are tetravalent. All right? This means that they have what? Four valence what? Electrons. Anyway, and of course, it is important to know that because they are tetravalent, right? Sometimes they have what? They have what? Two oxidation states in compounds. They have what? Two oxidation states in compounds. They can either exist as plus two, or plus four in compounds so in their compounds they can either exist as what plus two or what plus four so they have two or dual oxidation states they said that they exist as plus two in compounds or as plus four in compounds now carbon itself and silicon are more stable in the plus four oxidation states 
carbon and silicon are more much are much more stable in the plus four oxidation state please if you have not liked this video what you are doing is wrong please click on that like button immediately as we are even learning this video i learning about this lesson right now click on the live uh, on the like button subscribe click on the subscribe button subscription will make you also make you get notification whenever we release or publish a new video and of course do not also forget to share good to share share to your class group to your classmates share to your friends anybody who's writing down that you see share what this what this video to them share the channel to them let them what also join us to learn then of course Carbon and silicon, like I said, they are more stable in the plus four oxidation state. Then, of course, now tin and lead and lead, on the other hand, are more stable in the plus two oxidation state. So, what have I said so far? I said that what that carbon family, the group four, they are what they are tetravalent and they have a two oxidation state in compounds. It's either they exist as plus two or what plus four. All right, and I said that carbon and silicon are more stable. In the plus four oxidation state, white tin and lead are stable in the what? They are more comfortable in the plus two oxidation state. Now, having known this, it's also important to note that what that carbon forms what hydrides called hydrocarbon. Carbon form hydrides. They form hydrides. Hydrides called what? Hydro hydrocarbons. All right, carbon form hydrides called hydrocarbons, and carbon does not in any way, does not in any way, shape or form react with water or steam. Carbon does not. It does not react. It does not react with what? With water or steam. Does not. Does not react with water or steam. Carbon does not react with water or steam. It is the most important member of what this family. All right, it does not react with water or steam, but of course, silicon, silicon and tin react with what with steam to what to liberate what hydrogen what gas. They liberate hydrogen gas and form their highest oxides. They liberate hydrogen gas and form their highest their highest oxide that is the plus four what oxides. All right, so please take note of that. Carbon does not react with water or steam, but silicon and tin react with what with steam. To liberate hydrogen gas and form their highest what oxide that is the plus four oxide right so of course you know um, silicon is what SiO2 is the, the oxide white tin is what SnO2 all right so please take note of what those what oxides all right so I'll go over this again I say group four elements that are called what, the carbon family and of course they are tetravalent of course they consist of what this element carbon silicon germanium flavorium which is what which has atomic number 114 all right i say it has no reuse outside what the laboratory then tin and lead and i say that they are what they are tetravalent that tetravalent and they have a two oxidation states in their compound the other is this as what as plus two in compounds or what as plus four and then i said also that what that carbon and silicon are more stable in the plus four oxidation state they are more comfortable there why were tin and lead are more comfortable in the plus two what oxidation state i said that what carbon does not react with what with water or steam but i, but I told you that what carbon what forms hydrides called what hydrocarbons all right so this is all we'll talk about carbon family right so i'll talk about carbon because it is the most important what member of what this family so in the next episode well before we look at the fifth word group i'm going to talk about diagonal relationship and i'll see you in the next class thanks for watching